下式 downward posture. Our previous move. This move, um, I'll start this side. We begin with single whip. We begin with single whip. Flat both hands. Again, smooth surface. You are looking at your left hand. Shift your body weight on the left side, so you are leaning on the left shoulder. And while you are shifting your body weight to the left, leaning on the side, in your step left shoulder and you turn your head looking at your right hand so you will look in the whole stance you're looking at your left hand as you lean just to your left shoulder then you're turning your head look at your right hand sink the right elbow Chop to left hand side. And while you are also turning your body, rotating your hip and chopping your left hand, turning. So let's break it down. Drop and okay. if you want to break it down first. You rotate, closing your left groin to face uh, east. So, okay. your body will then face southeast. Leaning on the left shoulder, your body is still facing south. Drop your right elbow, then closing your left groin. Rotate your body to 45 degrees left, which is your your um, southeast. Then your arm will be now pointing east. Why? Because in a horse, in a single whip. Our hands are 45 degrees each way. So as your body rotates 45 degrees, your hands also. So your arm was facing, um, your body was facing south, and your arm was, your left arm was from, uh, pointing southeast. So as my body rotates 45 degrees left, my body is now facing southeast and therefore my left arm pointing east and you also upright rotate your arms and upright so your thumbs pointing upward and nose high and you chop your right hand so it becomes a, a lifting a look a self-fighting heart posture and nose height and at this point both of my foot point the same direction which is southeast 
my hands are pointing uh, east. So that, um, in, in fact, I have to uh, twist my upper body a little to get my right, right arm chopping or pointing at, uh, at ease. Open your right groin. Again, um, similar to cow hands where you just turn. Open. Step forward a little. Okay, at this point, both pointing 45 degrees, open. Now I'm back 45, 45 that way, so it's like 90 degrees. Open a step. See that my, my heels were in this alignment, and I, now I step up a little. Now the heels. If I quickly do this, you will know that um, it becomes one foot width as we finish. So therefore, to mark our spacing, from this point, you are from this point, you bring your right leg forward um, to mark your one foot width in the, in the final position. Okay. See that how my right leg is forward goes a uh, step forward than my left left leg. So therefore as I finish my posture it will become a one foot width. Okay, carry on. At this point you're still facing uh, facing east. Your, your, your head, your left hand and right hand, fingers pointing east, solid leg on the left leg, empty leg on the right leg. Left leg pointing southeast, so as your body, right foot opened at uh, southwest. Now, transfer your body weight from left to right. You because you're half step forward, so as you kind of lunge, lunging across, uh, half leaning, half lunging across, so your body will slide, um, go a bit, little bit slide on this side. So on the side view, it should look like this. Okay. Then drop your left elbow so that they are now the wrist, I show the height. Rotate your hip. So you are now facing south, still sitting on this leg, leaning on this side, then press down. Okay, again, drop your left elbow. At this point, you are still, your body is still uh, facing southeast. So therefore, we are just now we are facing south again and press down. Notice that my fingers pointing forward, which is south. 
my foot, right foot pointing southwest, left foot pointing southeast. This is important because now I'm sitting on this leg, I'm pressing down, fingers pointing to the front. I open my hip, rotate my hip, my left groin, so that my foot, left foot pointing from um, southeast to east. And so is my left hand. And I'm also rotating at 90 degrees, so the thumb points upward, before that my, my thumb point was pointing sideways. And you also notice that my left hand go going, traveling with my left hand, so my both of my, of my hands now pointing east. But left hand is thumb points upward, my right hand still pointing sideways. My left foot point to the east, my right foot point to the southwest. So it is a uh, 135 degrees open. And then your, your hip still open, still pointing. Um, your body pointing southeast. Your left leg, left left foot, the, your left toe, left knee are pointing east. Solid. Your right leg pointing southwest. Your face pointing south. Rotate your hips, closing your groins, and bring in your left or right toes so you are now totally off pointing east. This is complicated um, to explain in videos. Still opening uh, 135 degrees, and then raise my hands so that my wrist is above my forehead. My left, right hand still point, pointing down. Then I'm transforming from fingers pointing forward to to palms pointing forward and fingers on the sideways. And right hand also. So um, if I do it 45 degrees, see if you can see. So you are now in a lunging position, right hand pressing downward, guarding, left hand pressing forward, guarding your forehead. So you can still see under here, okay, it does not, your hand does not block your view, okay. Um, yeah. Do it again. So 
So we'll try to do it slower so you can see. Um, try to catch as much detail as, I, as you can. Forty-five degrees. Thank you. 